Well, first off, Michelle, the hair looks fantastic. Thank you. But more important than that is the message behind it. Oh, thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. And you know what? You're right when you say you're never going to please everybody. And you know what? The only person you really have to please? It's you, right? Yeah, well, I guess I'm gonna sleep really good tonight, right? Sleeping easier. <laughs> well, guys, I mean, it's another spring day. This is the third day of spring, and the big story here is the temperature, so I'm gonna lead you right off with the almanac. 67 degrees is where we're supposed to make it at the airport. Yes, 2012, again, just like yesterday, was another warm year at 80 degrees, and overnight, yeah, it's going to be warm overnight as well. We're supposed to be in the upper 20s. We're looking at the upper 30s to low 40s. Already for the temperatures, you're seeing them in the upper 50s to the upper 60s. Middleport will make it in the 70s with those winds coming out of the south. In the absence of cloud cover, definitely seeing a 70 on the map. But if you've noticed it's been a bit dry, I want to turn your attention to the dew points, you're not wrong at all. When you see the dew point temperatures far away from the actual temperatures, it's quite dry. If you've noticed you needed some more chapstick, you needed to keep a little more hydrated, more static electricity. I know when I pet my cat, she hates it because I zap her. Well, it's because it's quite dry. I'll show you why in a few seconds with 7 Super Doppler. You are seeing the absence of clouds. That high pressure system is still sitting pretty right there, and it's making it possible for us to have lots of sunshine, but it is quite dry. So make sure to keep hydrated hydrated. We're not going to complain at all. Now we do have another system to the west that's going to make its way to us and I'll show you when on future casts. So the dry time is coming to an end. But let's get to that bus stop forecast. In the morning I told you that you would need to uh, layer the kids up, but we can throw those layers off. Look at those temperatures in the 60s, abundant sunshine. Your go home forecast is looking the same way too. So make sure to put on those sunglasses if you're driving due west. You'll have lots of sunshine in your eyes. Looking at the future cast, we're going to stop the clock at 11. Those clouds are filtering in. We've got cloud cover filtering in before the rain. So Tuesday is going to be cloudy. However, it's not going to cool us down. You'll see those temperatures for Tuesday in the seven day. By noon, full cloud cover. Same thing for the evening and to the overnight too. As we go into Wednesday, that's when you're going to see that rain arrive. See how it just comes in from the south? Not only that, but you're seeing some more moderate rain showers in the yellow there with those winds still coming out of the south. So we can expect to see a bit of a wet Wednesday, but we got to get through today, which is going to be great. Mostly sunny and pleasant temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. If you head towards the lakeshore, do expect it to be a little cooler, but I don't think we'll be complaining about that at all tonight. It'll be a little cool as well with those temperatures, upper 30s to low 40s, mainly clear and cool. Make sure to look up at the sky. We'll see another flyover from the International Space Station. Head to NASA's website. They'll tell you when it'll fly over your house. Remember, I told you we'd be warmer on Tuesday, warm rather on Tuesday. There it is in the mid 60s. Let's get to Wednesday, almost 70 degrees, even though we're seeing rain and then 70. There it is on Thursdays. Guys, it's still spring, not even summer yet. And we're looking at summer temperatures. Well, enjoy them while you can, because Friday we're back in the 50s, 40s on Saturday and 50 to end the seven day.